Okay, so I'm back for round number two. You know what? My wireless internet just sucks. It sucks. I'm going to be so complaining about it. So I've turned it off and I'm using my phone's internet. Okay, so I'm going to start from the top again because uh, I'm probably going to race the other video. So I do apologize for those of you that were watching. Um, <laughs> you can come back and watch this again. So... I wanted to talk about if you've been dumped to start with. Now, let me tell you, this is the way that it works. Right before Christmas, thanks for joining, guys. I'm so sorry about my connection before. Right before Christmas and right before Valentine's Day, people get dumped. Relationships break up. That's what happens, you know, and I, I think it might be because then they don't have to buy presents. Who knows? You know, I just leave the country. <laughs> But in saying that, it is the time of the year that it does tend to happen. So firstly, I want to give you a tip about, you know, if you have been dumped. Um, so this will help you to move forward a lot quicker. Number one, don't be telling every Tom, Dick and Harry about what happened. And the reason being is that the more that you talk about it out loud, the more negative energy you actually are putting out there and the more energy that you're giving a negative situation, okay? So the first thing you want to do is say it and then shut the fuck up, all right? Do not be telling everybody what's going on because it's not going to make you feel any better. Shit happens, it's life, you date, you break up. It's that simple. Life is about a stepping stone, guys. So, you know, if you have been dumped, you know, forget your ego stroking. It doesn't happen. People actually don't want to hear about your shit. That's the reality. That's a life that we live in. And the more that you talk about the negative, the more you're going to be feeling it. So let's move to the next step. You want to put yourself back out there and you go, all right, I want to track someone better. What do I do? All right, let me tell you exactly what you do. Here is five habits to make you more desirable, specifically if you're a woman, because this is a shit that men actually like and makes you quite sexy. So number one, don't rush into sex. Now, the reason why I'm saying this is that if you know the person, you know, and you've had some form of relationship with them for a while, okay, it's not so bad, but I'm generally going to say if you are really interested in this person and you really want to have a relationship with them, don't fuck them, all right? I'm not saying that you can't go somewhere. I mean, I had a one-night stand that turned into a marriage at 11 years, but that's not normal, okay? That does not typically happen, okay? So I'm talking the general blanket here, okay? There is exceptions to the rules, but they're freaking about this much. Bees dick, guys. Bees dick exceptions to the rules. So if you're interested in the guy, don't rush into sex. Now, I'm not saying wait freaking 13 weeks, but what I am saying is don't be going screwing them on night number one, okay? Okay, because generally guys don't look at you as marriage material, okay? Number two, be passionate about your life, okay? It's really important because when you're really passionate about your life, it emanates and you actually attract other people who are just as passionate as you are. Um, people love it when you're happy about your life, but if you walk around all like, oh, I fucking don't like shit, you know, if you don't like something, go fucking change it, all right? Because it's super sexy when you're passionate about your life, and that goes into number three. The reason why it's so sexy is because happiness needs to come from within out, okay? So if you're looking for somebody to fulfill your life and make your life better and just, you know, make everything wonderful and fill that void and fill that hole. Are you hearing my voice change? Because that stuff is fucking bullshit, okay, guys? That stuff is the ugliest fucking stuff to men, all right? This is, I'm doing no shit policy Friday, okay, guys? So it's harsh information, but I am telling you right now, the last thing that a man wants okay, is to have to fill your void, okay, they absolutely are attracted to women who filled their own voids and are happy from within, so if happiness comes from the inside out, okay, you can't have external factors to make you happy, so that was number three, number four is knowing your boundaries and communicating it, that's, that's really important because 
A man actually doesn't want a yes woman. They don't want someone who's just going to go along with everything all the time. They want a woman that knows exactly what they want. And when they're not happy with it, they aren't shy to actually stand up and say, well, actually, this doesn't work for me. I, I actually don't like this. I'm not comfortable with this. So, you know, that's that's something that's really important because you need to, it's sexy when you can communicate it. Okay, and if you can communicate it like this, is better than communicating it like this because um, when we read shit, we can read it 500 tones and it can come out the wrong way. Okay, and um, number five cool girls take their relationship day by day. So, what it's about is it's about reassessing how you know the relationship's working and how you're being treated and stuff like that. Um, girls that are like, whoop. We're already at the altar and we just met and we've had three children and we've got the house and then you're fucking divorced because that's what's going to happen, okay? So cool girls, they're not wanting to be with just anybody, okay? But you, you know what? You know, A bonking friend is one thing, okay? You know, but when we're talking about a relationship, a desirable woman, woman is someone who doesn't settle. And settling is something that I see all the freaking time. I'm going to explain to you what happens when you settle. It's called, it starts with a big fat D, it's called divorce. That's what's going to happen later. And if you're a woman and you want to have children, you're going to be a single mama. Is that what you really want because you're settling? I know that's not something for me. So you want to actually be with the right partner, not with just any partner, okay? Because when you've got these other things as a woman, and you are passionate about your life and your happiness comes from inside and things like that, you actually don't need to just be with anybody, you know, because you're desperately needing to fulfill something within your life. When you have all of these things, you are going to attract your mirror. Everything is about mirroring. Your languaging mirrors. So if you need to really watch what you're saying, this is going to be a topic we're going to talk about tomorrow because a lot of people are attracting exactly what they're asking for out there and they're not liking it. <laughs> and they're going, why did this happen? I'm like, but honey, this is actually what you asked the universe for and you're mirroring. How can you expect somebody else to be like this if you're actually not like that? Okay, so, you know, you're going to attract your own mirror. So, girls, don't rush into the sex, but don't freaking make them hang on forever. I mean, seriously, because they you know what, you drag that shit out forever, okay, because you need to understand when it comes to sex, that's actually how men connect, all right? It's not just sex, it's called intimacy, if it's done right, if it's just... That's sex, all right? There's a lot more to it. It's actually more intimacy. And this is how men connect. So you don't want to be dragging that shit on for freaking 13 dates because, quite frankly, this is what's going to happen. The man is going to fuck you and he's going to move the fuck on because you're too high maintenance and you make it too difficult, okay? So don't forget, intimacy is a really important part, but you don't want to be doing it straight away. So hang on with the sex. Make sure you're passionate about your life. Happiness comes from in out. Know your boundaries and whoo, communicate it. And make sure that you are with the right, you you know, when you do this, cool women are looking for the right partner, not just any partner. So really, really important that you uh, work this all out. Oh, I'm getting, I'm getting like private messages coming up on my phone at the same time. Hi, Vinod. <laughs> I know I'm going to erase the last video because it sucked. So don't settle is what I'm going to say to men and women that are listening to this. Do not settle. It is not worth it, guys. There are so many fish out in the sea and there is somebody for everybody. But you need to make sure that you're actually looking at who you are because you're going to attract your mirror. And if you're attracting people in your life and it's not what you wanted, um, that's because you're looking in a mirror. So you need to go change what's happening in that mirror. All right. You need to actually go and work on you. So tomorrow we are actually going to do our Facebook live because I've got someone that's coming here. We're going to do a bit of filming um, or a, I think a photography shoot. However, what we're actually going to do is I think the two of us are going to come on live tomorrow and we are going to be talking about dating communication because uh, I'll tell you guys, I've had the funniest week in regards to dating conversations. It's just been like, on. So we're going to talk about dating communication tomorrow. So 
If you haven't done already, I want you to subscribe the second that I finish, so that way you know when we're on live. Um, and which, mind you, tomorrow will probably be, I don't know, between one and three. And um, yes, mirror, mirror on the wall. <laughs> I'm the fairest of them all. <laughs> Love you, Bernard. Um, so anyway, um, make sure you subscribe. We are going to have exclusive offers that are going to be coming out to people that have already subscribed to the Intimacy TV website. Make sure that you don't miss out on that. Love you all. Have an amazing Friday now that I know it's Friday. I know it's crazy. It's been a freaking full-on week. So, yes, yes, yes. Bernard, we need to catch up. You need to message me when I get off this phone and we will catch up. Love you all. And until tomorrow's episode on dating communication, bye, y'all.